Konnichiwa minasan, it's Gray from Makazashi's Tea House Home in Japan. How you doing? Are you good? Are you genki? I'm pretty good, thanks. I've got a review of Amazing Spider-Man issue 13, which came out Wednesday, November the 9th. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. It's still priced at $3.99. It's written by Zeb Wells and it's got art by John Romita Jr. Okay, as you can see by the title or the cover page, the Hobgoblins last stand. That's right, there are two Hobgoblins in this issue and they're out for Peter Parker's blood. It's a, yeah, it's a violent issue as usual. Um, the way it's been going with this run has been, there's been quite a lot of blood, especially spidey blood seen on the pages. Look at the cover closely, you've got this weird kind of helmet that Spidey's wearing now as part of the Goblin tech. He's also got a glider, which he calls Bug. Less said about that, the better. Um, yeah, how was this issue? Okay, let me think about it. This was a bit disappointing, I thought. A little bit flat. The art seemed a bit rushed at times. We've got some weird looking Peter Parker faces in here, especially later on in the issue. You'll see what I mean when we get there. And the two hobgoblins kind of fighting together. It looks like they're about to destroy Peter Parker. Now, how many times in this series has he been like on the, you know, the brink of death? It's not get, getting a little bit tiring. It's like, oh, here we go again. You know, he's about to die. And I'm waiting to see more of a kind of heroic Peter Parker because he gives up too easily. You know, you, you can hear his thoughts in the, the text boxes and he's saying like, oh, oh my God, I'm about to die. He's like, again? Come on, Peter, sort yourself out. So, yeah, it's me being a little bit negative for a change. But anyway, um, overall, the story's okay. You know, there's, there's some good action in it. I got through it pretty quickly. But I'm not sure about some of the designs in here. There's um, Norman Osborn with some kind of new... I won't spoil it here. I'll save it for the, show, the story summary, you know, in case you don't want spoilers. But yeah, you'll know what I mean when you see it. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, let me show you some of the interior art. Where are we? This is just one example of, you know, some great like action panel pages, but Spidey's blood, as you can see, is everywhere. At one point, I thought he'd been like stabbed through the chest by one of the hobgoblins, but no, he's okay, of course. So what else do we get in this issue? Well, we get more of Betty and Ned Leeds' story, of course. And there's Roderick Burgess, is it? Roderick Burgess, the original hobgoblin in here. Norman Osborn in hospital panicking over poor Peter Parker, who's now his favourite employee ever, for some reason. <laughs> and there's still nothing talked about the terrible event that happened six months ago before this whole series started. You know, there's no MJ in here, of course. Um, no Felicia, no Black Cat. It's just like, I don't know, I think Zeb Wells has almost forgotten about that story, the storyline. Hey, maybe we'll find out in five years. We'll see. So, as always, um, I'm going to give a short story summary. So anyway... Please keep watching. Here we go. At the end of last issue, we left Spider-Man in a head-to-head -head battle with two hobgoblins. Now this issue opens with Norman Osborn in hospital, panicking and shouting for the nurse. He's watching the battle somehow on computer. My employer's in serious trouble. On this next page, we're given a bit of a mini info dump, which reminds us Roderick has used the Winkler device. It's a machine convincing Ned Leeds that he is the hobgoblin again. Spidey's asking the question, why? We see Spidey getting cut by the gliders here. There's been a lot of blood in this new Zeb Wells Amazing Spider run. What do you think? We also keep seeing Spidey being beaten to a pulp. Here he's calling Bug the Spidey glider, which I'm sorry, I just don't like it. Looks a bit like a dodgy kite there. And then we also get Spidey talking about his helmet. So he's got a helmet now, no longer got a mask. I'm not a fan of that either. He's using this new kind of goblin tech on his Spider-Man outfit. He's got a helmet and he's got this Spidey glider. Back in the hospital and the nurse is telling Norman Osborn to calm down. There's nothing you can do. But then we see Norman looking at a screen with some kind of device. A costume and another glider. Looks a bit like a Power Ranger. Spidey launches himself into a curveball attack on both hobgoblins. He's trying to convince Ned Leeds that he's being controlled. I believe in you, Ned. Scratch. Believe in blood. Poor Peter Parker's really being pummeled here, isn't he? First of all, I thought he'd been stabbed through the chest, but it's, I think it's a punch there. And then one of the hobgoblins is butting his helmet. Crash. Spider's glider tries to intercede and stops a lethal impact. Bug, cries Spidey. Yet again, Spidey's falling to what seems to be imminent death. Even the text boxes suggest it. I'm simply going to die. 
come on Spidey, you're supposed to be more heroic than this. He crash lands into some kind of fan, he's dazed, there's smoke pouring out, is it from the fan, is it from the hobgoblins, it's not clear. He gets electrocuted by one of the hobgoblins, looks like his head blows up but it's actually the helmet. And then we get this fantastic looking Peter Parker, look at that face, eyes flashed, can't see, can't. They're about to use one of their gliders to give the finishing, killing blow. You must die. When, just in time, a figure clad all in gold, riding a golden glider, comes in just at the right time and stops the attack. Huh? Says Peter. N Norman? Then it seems there's only room for one hobgoblin in the sky, as Roderick punches Ned Leeds and he falls off the glider. Spidey catches him just in time, then drops down to check if he's okay. It's over, Leeds, you need help. But Ned isn't having it, he grabs Peter around the throat and can I just stop a minute to say, what is going on with Peter's face here? It looks like Frankenstein the monster. Then we have what looks like a golden power ranger but it's actually Norman Osborn, a golden goblin. No sign of any goblin on that mask but anyway, an evil dead Peter Parker stood behind him. <laughs> Come on John, John Romita Jr, what were you doing? Looks a bit rushed this up anyway. We see Norman pummeling Ned even though Ned's knocked out. Peter has to stop him. Switch scenes to Betty's apartment where first we see her baby, then Betty. Peter goes round to check if she's okay. Here we see Peter's face looking surprisingly good. Betty's upset she's sure they're gonna throw the book at him, but Peter says don't worry, once they examine that machine they'll know he was brainwashed. Peter, didn't you hear? Spider-Man must have been mistaken. There was no machine in Ned's office. Okay, I'm gonna end my short story summary here. Well, at least that was interesting, wasn't it? And there was some good fight scenes in there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my take. Um, I wanna show you one of the variant covers. This is by Ryan Stegman, and it's the Marvel Extreme variant cover. I like this one because it's completely bonkers. And before I finish, let me show you the, um, the preview of next issue's cover. What is going on? What is this? When I first saw it, I'm being serious here, I thought it was a joke. I thought, now, it's got like John Romita Jr. signature and somebody else is on there. No idea if this is going to be a new character or who it is or whether they're being serious or not. I don't know what's going on with Spidey at the moment. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. Um, I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the issue, what you think of this run, what you think of this cover. <laughs> God, because I don't know what to say. Um, and I hope to see you in a future video. This is Grave Makasashi's Tea House signing off for the night. Matane. Makasashi's Tea House. Please subscribe. <laughs>